Hello and welcome to my Ultra Life. Today I'm in Sydney, Australia, and I'm on the coastal walk. The coastal walk. Ah! Hello and welcome to my Ultra Life. Today I'm in Sydney, Australia, and I'm in the eastern suburbs part of, us, of uh, Sydney on an area called the Coastal Walk. Now the Coastal Walk starts about a mile or so in the other direction here at a beach called Coogee Beach and goes all the way along this beautiful coastline to Bondi Beach. Bondi is probably one of the most famous beaches in Australia. So that makes the Coastal Walk one of the most popular walks in the Sydney area. Sydney's famous for lots of walks. So they have lots of parks, lots of walkways, and with the Sydney Harbour and the rugged coastline, they have lots and lots of shoreline and, and, and coastline and beaches and bays. It's really, really beautiful. So behind me, you'll notice this sculpture. Uh, this is a sculpture that was placed here in 2012 through a program called Sculptures by the Sea. And we happen to be here at a perfect time because right now is the 20th annual production of Sculpture by the Sea. So um, artists have placed interesting sculptures along the beach from Tamarama Beach to Bondi. So we'll uh, run along the coastal walk and take a look at Sculptures by the Sea. So welcome to Sydney and let's have a great run along the coastal walk. So the coastal walk is about a total of six kilometers uh, running from Coogee Beach along the coastline to Bondi and I'm uh, staying at a friend's house in Bronte so I'm starting in Bronte which is eh, almost halfway so uh, the first place we'll see here is Bronte Beach which is very popular for uh, surfing and uh, family picnics and things like that Sunday mornings they have lifeguard training and since on the weekends lifeguard uh, lifeguards are provided by the public, they start training the uh, volunteer lifeguard force from a very young age, maybe three or four years old, and they call them the little nippers. So it's pretty cute to watch on Sunday mornings. getting close to the next beach called Tamarama, sometimes called Glamorama Beach because apparently this is the place where if you wanted to be seen or you want people to see you, this is where you go. So Tamarama Park is really the uh, beginning of Sculpture by the Sea. Uh, it's, a, it's a narrow little cove and they put lots of pieces of artwork in here. Uh, so it's a great beginning place to come and wander around. Now before we start looking, I think it's uh, important that you have a proper basic understanding of art, okay? This is art. This is not. This is art. This is not art. And this is rubbish. And well, this is, let's just say that art gets people talking about art, gets people thinking. And art is supposed to evoke a feeling and uh, differences of opinion so people can have a discussion. Uh, art is really what people say it is. Um, and art, it can be beautiful and it cannot be beautiful. It can just be an expression of, a, of an idea. So I think we'll see many different types of art here. Uh, and it's up to your own feeling and your own opinion if you believe it's wonderful or beautiful. So let's see <laughs> Sculpture by the Sea.
So as we leave Tamborama, we'll see different artwork placed right along the walkway. Sometimes very uh, interesting positions. So as you go around a corner of the walkway, you never know what you might see. This is not art, this is a sit-up bench. And it would probably do me some good to make use of it. It's really quite wonderful what they've done get out here to be up close and engage with art and then you're in a surroundings that is really art itself it's a very beautiful landscape and then you've got the piece of art just out there and people will just sit and look they'll take pictures from all angles so not something you really can see in a cooped up museum so it's really quite fascinating to watch people with engaging with art. This is McKinsey Point, and uh, of course right on the edge of the point they always put some uh, unusual piece of art to stand out. And just above the point is Mark's Park, which looks over Bondi Beach. And in Mark's Park they have well, you might expect a park full of art. Well, don't mind uh, taking a break myself. Not a beautiful piece of art. And spread all over Marks Park are many, many different pieces of art. Um, and inside they have a tent, uh, up on the back part of the park they have a tent. And there are lots of miniature versions of the art we see along the sculpture walk. So it's very interesting to see the miniature concept and then the larger form out placed into, uh, into the environment. And a lot of those pieces of art are for sale. So if you've got uh, eh, three thousand to ten thousand dollars, just pick up yourself a miniature version of uh, something you might see here in Marks Park or along the coastal walk. So uh, ah, enjoy my uh, time here in Marks Park and uh, take a look at all the different art park they've got here. Now this piece, I'm sure, is one that would be an example of a piece of art that would uh, create some conversation and discussion. Uh, is it art or is it a collection of rubbish? Uh, I think, you know, it would be something that some people would just love and other people might hate. I was uh, running along here while they were installing this and the artist was here and I pointed to a spot and said, ah, you missed a spot. And he just went into an uproarious laugh, and uh, he quickly filled that spot. So it was uh, random in nature and uh, quite a collection of stuff. But some of it, if you look closely, actually there's a lot of work into all these little pieces. They're all zip tied together. Some are glued, some are electronics. Some, uh, look at this, this has uh, 
little pieces of wire glued in. Uh, they spent a lot of time, this probably took an hour, uh, and you know, they spent a lot of time gluing and pasting and twist tying and, and whatnot. Nothing is just a piece of something all by itself. So uh, you gotta give credit that they actually invested a great deal of time and money on this uh, piece of art. And it's quite a fascinating structure. So if art is to uh, stimulate thought and discussion, I guess this would do it. Now to me, and it's, it's just my personal opinion, but some of the most beautiful art is the art created by nature. And just look at this piece of uh, limestone or sandstone. It used to be up there, near uh, above the walkway, and they had a big storm and pulled this rock out here in the middle of the little cove. I think it was God appreciating the sculpture by the sea and just wanted to get in on the action a bit. And I would say it's a masterpiece. Wonderful. So I'm at the end of the sculpture walk. Bondi Beach is just behind me. And uh, this is kind of the finishing piece here. Uh, big shopping bag so you can buy all the sculptures and pack them away and take them home I guess. Uh, but uh, beautiful little piece of uh, artwork there and uh, I'll continue on to Bron uh, Bondi Beach a little bit and that'll be my turnaround point and uh, head back to Bronte Beach. Well, I'm back where I started just past uh, Bronte Beach. It's been about a four mile run with uh, plenty to see along the way. Sculptures by the Sea is uh, quite fascinating. If you plan to come to Sculptures by the Sea, start early, uh, maybe avoid the weekends, wear some comfortable shoes and bring your patience because uh, it'll be crowded and you won't get the shot you want and you know, people are taking pictures a lot, things like that. So, but it's very beautiful. If you're ever in Sydney in uh, late October, early November, remember to come by Sculptures by the Sea for a wonderful experience. I've had an ultra lifetime and I hope you do too.